Hello, my name's Dr Gill. Um, before we start, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? Thomas Alvey, 4th of January 2000. Thank you. So today um, I've been asked to do an assessment on your hand before we go ahead to look at um, taking some blood, specifically an arterial blood gas. Now that's slightly different from a, a, a venipuncture. Has anybody explained that to you? No. Okay. With a venipuncture, we're going to, we would take some blood from one of your veins. However, with an arterial blood gas, we're going to take it from one of the arteries on the wrist. Now, it's quite important that we check that both arteries, you have two in uh, your wrist uh, that are of uh, importance there. We need to check that they are both working properly because sometimes uh, the artery can go into spasm after we take blood from it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press quite firmly on your wrist and get you to pump your wrist and pump your fist and that will drive the blood out of your hand and will then release the pressure and hopefully everything should return to normal. And we're going to confirm that with the vein finder. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, before we start, can I confirm, are you right or left-handed? I'm left-handed. Okay, so we're going to do the assessment on your right hand and hopefully that's the one that we'll take the blood from. So, starting off, I'm going to bring over the vein finder and that way you'll be able to see what we're doing at the same time. And just changing over the mode. Okay, so I'm colourblind so I can see the green much more easily. What we're going to do now is we're going to assess if your ulnar artery and your radial artery are intact so we can go on to do the arterial stab. Before I begin, do you have any pain in this hand? No. So I'm going to press over the radial artery so I can feel the pulse there. I'm going to press the ulnar artery. Now I'm pressing quite firmly there. Stop me if it hurts. And that's going to occlude the arteries so I can feel the pulse coming through both sides. Now if you squeeze your hand tight as you can for me. Tight, 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 tight. And relax. And squeeze again. Tight, 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 tight. And that's pushing the blood out of your hand. So I'm going to release the ulnar and we can see that f nicely filling there on the left side. So we know that the ulnar artery is working without an issue. Just going to let your hand rest for a moment or two. Was there any pain or problem when I did that? No, no, not at all. Super. Okay, are you happy to do it again? Yep. Okay, so again, I'm going to press down, pressing quite firmly, and we're occluding the arteries, so if you could squeeze your hand tight as you can. Tight, 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 tight. And relax. And squeeze once more. Tight, 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 and relax. And I'm going to release the radial artery. And there we go, we can see that vein refilling nicely with the vein finder. So we know that there's no contraindications to going ahead. So I'm going to get that documented and I'll tell my colleagues that we're good to go ahead and perform the, uh, this blood gas. And then we'll have a chat about those results when they come through. Do you have any questions for myself? No, not at all. Super. Thank you very much. Thank you.